Jesse Milby. I'm the store manager here and uh, head bartender, I guess. And uh, today we're going to show you how to make a couple of our cocktails and uh, how to pick out a good cigar. Uh, now we're going to pick out a couple of cigars. And normally what I try to gauge from people when they come in here is uh, their level of experience in smoking cigars, uh, the type of cigars they normally go for, uh, get a little bit of an idea of what their budget is. If they're just starting off, uh, we try to steer them towards a couple of different sticks, one of them being uh, this Perdomo Small Batch Sun Grown right here. Uh, it's a very interesting stick to start off on. It's actually a little milder for a, for a Sun Grown, but it's going to give a very good representation of what a good cigar can be without breaking the bank or without turn, making someone turn green. Um, and uh, we've had a lot of success with that one. Uh, some of our other better sellers, uh, Romeo and Julieta does very well. Uh, La Florida Minicana does incredibly well. Uh, it just depends upon if you want a little bit lighter smoke, a little bit heavier smoke. If you like a Maduro versus a Sun Grown versus a Connecticut wrapper. Um, it also, it, it does come down to money. Uh, just because the cigar is expensive does not mean it's good, and just because it's cheap does not mean it's bad. Uh, it just really depends upon your particular taste profile. Um, if someone is a little bit more seasoned smoker, uh, I'll recommend something like an Avo, uh, something like a, a La Florida Minicana down here, or a My Father, Jaime Garcia, something along those lines. Uh, try to keep everything fairly reasonable. Um, we do have some specialty cigars, uh, such as the Opus X. Uh, which is one of the most highly sought after cigars in the world uh, and you know if someone knows what they're looking for and wants to go for one of those uh, that's great I certainly love them myself uh, but uh, there's no need to uh, completely break the bank just getting into into cigars uh, we want you to enjoy yourself and uh, frankly with a lot of the more expensive cigars you're not going to appreciate them enough to justify spending that much money until you've had a few and kind of know what you're looking at. As we're going through the humidor, uh, the main three, four types of cigars that uh, we're going to be looking at, uh, Connecticut Leafs are usually going to be on a, on a lighter cigar. Um, they are uh, typically a little bit nutty, uh, fairly mild. Uh, they can be put onto a much stronger binder and filler, which is the stuff that goes into the cigar, uh, so that they don't overwhelm that flavor, if that's the flavor that the blend was going for. Uh, they can also be put on a fairly light stick and uh, provide something that you can smoke at any time, um, you know, day, night, walk in the golf course if you'd like. Uh, sun Grown's typically have a little bit more spice to them, a little bit more kick to them. Um, something like a Perdomo 20th Anniversary Sun Grown right here uh, would be a good idea. Uh, again, we have the Perdomo Small Batch Sun Grown's here. We also have the, a couple of the Perdomo uh, Small Batch Connecticut's remaining, and we just got a new batch of the uh, Maduro. Uh, this is going to be the Verdomo Small Batch Connecticut. Uh, you can see that it's Connecticut wrapper by the kind of tannish light brown color. This one is going to be the Connect or the Sun Grown. Um, it's going to be a little bit darker, have a little bit more spicy flavor to it. This one's still fairly mild for a Sun Grown, but it's going to give you a little bit more kick, a little bit more. Uh, flavor than say the, the Connecticut. And then this is the new one, this is the Maduro. Uh, Maduro is actually Spanish for ripe, uh, so it's going to be darker. Uh, these are aged longer. Uh, it's going, uh, they're going to be a little stronger typically, uh, but with a little bit smoother finish than say a Sun Grown or a Habano or something along those lines. Uh, with the Maduro, you're, you're looking more for notes of chocolate, coffee, raisin, things of that nature. Uh, with a Connecticut, a little bit of uh, nuttiness, maybe a little bit of creaminess. Uh, with a Sun Grown, uh, you're typically going for a little bit more pepper, a little bit more spice. Um, and all this can vary from one stick to the uh, from one stick to the next, just depending upon what kind of leaf they're using, uh, where that leaf is grown, uh, what kind of blend they're using. Um, and that's why it's important to kind of get a baseline idea of what you prefer in a cigar before you really start to spend the, the big bucks on, on the, uh, the Cohibas and the, uh, the Ashtons and the Arturo Fuentes stuff.